So there are some phrases around this show that suddenly to the ear end up sticking. And one of them, for example, was Billy Ray Cyrus on South Beach Sessions the other day when Billy Gill asked him about the shift in baseball and uh, Sugats asked him about balls being juiced. Uh, Billy Ray Cyrus only wanted to talk about Pete Rose and didn't understand what it is that we were asking him. So he said this. Whose balls are juiced? Now, so that that phrase has been ringing around here, just sort of echoing around the studio for the last couple of days. Whose balls are juiced? And that's the soundtrack as I keep walking past the studio back there, the shipping container filled with frightened refugees, Stugatz, and they won't stop talking about hairy balls. Whose balls are juiced? And every time I walk by, it's something about this with hairy balls and something about that with hairy balls. And Whose balls are juiced? Every time I walk through there, like, I'm not sure what they're talking about because <laughs> this Fort Wayne 5 thing has gotten a bit out of control. Why are you guys spending so much time discussing hairy balls? Okay, so for clarification, Harry Balls was the Republican mayor of Fort Wayne, Indiana from 1932 to 1947, and then again from 1951 until his death in 1954. Now, his last name is spelled B-A-A-L-S. So, guys, come on, let's be a little mature here. So, we didn't know about Harry Balls until the local hour today when Josh called in from Fort Wayne, Indiana wow. to let us know about former mayor Harry Balls. Now... In 2011, Harry Balls and Fort Wayne, Indiana were in the national spotlight where they were ridiculed by the likes of Jimmy Kimmel and Jon Stewart because there was an online vote situation where they were going to name the government center after someone and they opened it up for suggestions. And naturally, Fort Wayne, Indiana suggested Harry Balls Government Center. <laughs> And the Harry Balls Government Center <laughs> won the vote with 23,826 votes, more than 10 times the wow. votes received by the closest contender. But according to Wikipedia— This is our city, baby. Yes. Are you kidding me? The Harry Balls Government Center? It was a landslide for Harry Balls. It was. So, according to Wikipedia, city officials almost immediately backed away from the name because of the fact that it was becoming a joke nationally. Now, they have named different things after him throughout the city, like they have the H.W. Balls Drive. So, Harry Balls Drive is a thing, but reportedly street signs for Harry Balls Drive get stolen quite often. <laughs> now, Harry Balls was the mayor during the Great Depression, and if you remember yesterday, we when we talked to Mayor Tom Henry, we were also introduced introduced to local legend Bob Chase. Now, like all stories in Fort Wayne, Indiana, things don't happen in Fort Wayne without Bob Chase being involved. So, <laughs> Wait, But hold on. Do we need to explain to the audience the whole Bob Chase reference? We can do that. So Bob Chase, okay, let's go back a day. So yesterday we had the mayor of Fort Wayne, Indiana on to talk to us about Fort Wayne and all these things, and he said that he had a proclamation. He named it Dan Lebitard Day, all these things. We got to a point where he told us there are no official keys to the city, but there's keys to the fort, wow. which is what they've done. And in his 12 years in office, he's only given away four. So he started to, we pressed him on it, which we shouldn't have, because when It was awful what we did yesterday, where they're giving us proclamations we don't deserve, a night we don't deserve, all sorts of attention we don't deserve. And in Stugat's style, we ask for more. We want one of the keys to the fort. Only four of them have been ever given out in Fort Wayne. And it's usually heroically and sometimes posthumous. Yes, that we didn't know at the time. So naturally, we wanted more, we wanted more, we wanted more for all of the stuff that we've done for the city. We naturally deserve which the is fifth nothing. key. Exactly. Which is no we've done next we have done nothing for the city. No, some guy named Joe has done everything for this whole thing. So then he started telling us about the recipients, and as Dan pointed out, uh, the two of the four that we heard about were posthumous, and we had this friendly exchange with him about sportscaster Bob Chase. Oh, someone you might know. Do you remember Bob Chase? Yes. Bob, Bob <laughs> Chase did the Fort Wayne Comets for, oh, my God, for just about ever as far as hockey. Uh, he was the voice in WOWO, uh, uh, but he was, he was the, uh, uh, the man of sports. Uh, and Bob uh, received one right before he left us. When Bob left you, was it to another city or to heaven? No, he, to heaven. So, for the record, that is the fastest that Billy Gill and most efficiently he's ever worked, where he just bald-faced lied 
<laughs> he still went on to explain who Bob Chase was. Well, he had to because he knew <laughs> Billy was lying. But again, I want you to hear that sound, how quick Billy lies to the good mayor of Fort Wayne that he knows who Bob Chase is. Oh, someone you might know. Do you remember Bob Chase? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I would try to keep things moving, you know. If I wouldn't have said yes, who knows where we would have been. And obviously he knows that you suckers don't know who Bob Chase is, even though I did. So back to the Bob Chase, Harry Balls connection. So I'll just read straight from the Wikipedia on this. Fort Wayne newscaster Bob Chase of WOWOAM relates a story that he once pronounced the mayor's name Bales. Mayor Balls personally called him following the broadcast to correct his pronunciation, saying, quote, Son, this is your mayor. I pronounce my name Balls. <laughs> that is unbelievable. Like all of that is is unbelievable.